tried really hard to put into words how I feel about Vicky. These were meant to be embellished into cute little anecdotes about why I love her. Um, but it turned into more of a random series of thoughts. So, here we go. She looks like a mouse. <laughs> she... she She, uh, she hates it when I don't listen, which is most of the time. She loves animals more than anyone I know. She, she makes me laugh every day. She has the biggest, kindest heart of anyone I know. We can't walk past an old man on his own without her crying. Yeah. She is smart, driven, determined, and a little stubborn, which is difficult because I'm also very stubborn. She is the life and soul of any party, and everyone loves being around her. So now, if you could all please be upstanding, and raise a glass to my beautiful wife. To, to Vicky, you are, you are my best friend. I love you so much, and I look forward to growing up with you. To Vicky! Ryan, when you came bounding over that table in May's Hostel in Sydney, never in a million years did I think we'd be here today. And I'm so glad I was so wrong. I can see how much you love Vicky. I see the way you look at her when she does something funny or puts on a silly voice or the way the two of you laugh together at your in jokes. I'm also grateful for the friendship we have and how patient you were when I had to move in with you. What was supposed to be two weeks and ended up being four months. You were always so welcoming, perhaps we'd get with teeth at times. And even when I got drunk and spilled beer all over your brand new rug and insulted your wife, <laughs> you never made me feel bad about it. <laughs> You're such a good man. And knowing that Vicky is married to you makes my life as a best friend so much easier. I will never have to worry that she is loved cared for, looked after the way she deserves and I can't thank you enough. I, Ryan George Brown. Take you, Vicky Charlotte Oliver. Take you, Vicky Charlotte Oliver. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Vicky Charlotte Oliver. Hi, Vicky Charlotte Oliver. <laughs> Take you, Ryan George Brown. Take you, Ryan George Brown. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I, I promise, promise to love and respect, respect you. you. At all times in our future life together. At all times in our future life together. And remembering this day. And remembering this day. Never allow anything. Never allow anything. To destroy the feelings. To destroy the feelings. We share with each other. We share, we share with each other. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With love and affection. With love and affection. Wear it with pride. Wear it with pride. And much happiness. And much happiness. Now and always. Now and always. It is now my great privilege and pleasure to pronounce that you are husband and wife together. Let me kiss you. <laughs> Well, obviously these two uh, did meet when they were travelling the world and I saw uh, Vicky's beautiful smile in the background of FaceTime uh, when they were living on Bondi Beach and I knew how uh, much Vicky 
did mean to Ryan for how nervous he was to introduce her to me and all the stuff he told me I wasn't allowed to say. But all jokes aside, um, the first time I saw uh, or met Vicky was in Ryan's back garden uh, when we was having a barbecue and I saw how happy you made him uh, and how much you meant to him and I knew we'd be at the wedding one day. Vicky, you'll always be the Jasmine to my Aladdin. <laughs> The Charlotte to my Miranda, the Fox to my Hound, and for one day only, as it's your wedding day, the Beyonce to my Kelly. <laughs> I love you both so much, to the bride and groom. Hi! Oh, he's like, straight away, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're so awkward. I'm so awkward. We're really about this. <laughs> Alright, you're on. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, ready <laughs> one. I burst the clock. <laughs> sometimes she's really visible, sometimes she's not. <laughs> Today she decided to show her face. I'm filming you now though. Understood. It's not a bit like a festival. Go cool, do it. Jimmy, again! Again! Just pretend. <laughs> It was weird pretending. Or like, you'll fall down. No, no. You get the limbo stick as well. Oh, fuck off. Maybe I'll start being worse. To you both, it's worth bearing in mind that neither of you will ever be perfect, but you can be perfect together. Being the father of the bride has made me feel more pride than I thought a person could feel. May your love be modern enough to survive the times and old fashioned enough to last forever. And now to impart a little wisdom, not of mine, <laughs> but of the poet Ogden Nash. To keep your magic marriage brimming with love in the loving cup, <laughs> whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> Before I have to take a seat, I have one last duty to perform that's both an honour and a privilege. Please raise your glasses and join with me in wishing the newlyweds, Ryan and Vicky, a long, healthy and happy future together. The bride and groom. Everyone, can we please be outstanding for the new Mr. and Mrs. Bob?